Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back in. We have an update in progress video on the way for you right now. So, uh, pretty much going to be just going over a lot of progress that has happened lately. Um, most of my videos lately have been very PVM focused, heavily centered on, I guess, just bossing, group bossing, etc. So, figure you know it's really taken away from a lot of like the skilling gains and things like that so you know, I'll go over like each account we will go over most of the skills that I've been working on uh, what I currently have left to do what are my short-term goals long-term goals and all that so uh, yeah we've been basically been doing a ton of Hydra so sitting on you know 46 out of 130 left on just this task so I figured I'd take a little break, throw on a recording. Um, I looked at the CAs and actually there's only like one CA that I have left to do for this boss because I'm not going to be able to do these other two. So the, the max speedrunner one, which is the Grandmaster, uh, I have the other speed speedrunner one done, which is 1 minute 45, so I beat that one. But I don't think it's possible with the blowpipe to do 1 minute 20 seconds. Maybe with dragon darts. But my PB is like, let's see here, PB 134. To shave 15 seconds off that, I don't think that's going to be too possible. And this no pressure, this is the kill the Hydro while using only a Darox Great Axe as a weapon and having no more than 10 HP through the entire fight. Well, that, that one's definitely not going to be done ever because... That's, that would pretty much be one of the last CAs that you ever do on any hardcore due to the stress that that would involve. So, yeah, not going to be doing that one. There is one that I could technically just do, and it's kill the Hydra without ever empowering it, which I'm surprised that I've never done, but just in the way that I lure him, I always sort of bring him on top of the, the next sort of fountain before he transitions phase so I guess that just means I have to just not bring him on to the next one until he actually transitions should just be an easy uh, five points there oh well, yeah five points for that master that's not bad that's that's very easy to do so I was gonna go in and do some more CAs for the video but seeing it as there's only one left uh, we'll have to get to that at the end and that'll be a short short little session but um, yeah, you know, so gear wise, like I'm, I'm pretty decked out on gear. Like I pretty much have what you would consider max, like pre raids gear, right? Just you know, Zenites. You know, obviously can't do necks, so I can't ever get Zerite Van Braces, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, so that's kind of my best in slot would be Bear's Gloves, Pegs, Armadil. Obviously could get Missouri, but haven't looted that from raids yet. And then, you know, on task, got the Avis Assembler. The gear's pretty sick for, you know, just this setup. Uh, it looks pretty nice. And then my my specking swap is just basically max melee, so I'm bringing a six-way. I could bring Ferocious Gloves, and I could bring a Berserker Ring Eye, but I figured it's only small upgrades, and I'm already bringing a six-way, so I like to keep it uh, fairly contained so that I actually have room for loot or and supplies to take so um, currently utilizing the Arceus spellbook at Hydra so uh, what I do is I'll use the two bones every kill that he drops and I will convert them with the Sinister Offering gets about 600 and something prayer XP per cast which is nice and you'll, re you'll actually restore a couple prey points per bone used in that manner so I actually get like four or something prayer back every kill which does add up you know when you do 10 kills in a trip that's 40 prey points that's easily a huge uh, prayer dose to add to the trip so not too bad there um, and yeah the the point of that is basically I just BGS him at the start because when you're blowpiping uh, with the nerfs especially the blowpipe is very low on accuracy so it's fairly important that you lower his defense with the BGS but yeah uh, that's currently my method with the blowpipe unless I were to get a twisted bow or a dragon hunter crossbow 
Tori Bofa. I'm just currently chugging through darts and scales. Uh, scales don't really matter, uh, as I will show you shortly here on the next account. Uh, I just have fishing scales, so we'll get to that shortly. But uh, And then darts as well. They do go down, and I have chugged through a considerable amount of darts. So uh, back to the amethyst, and I'm going to be mining that to keep up with some of the darts lost here. But yeah, as far as skills, like I dinged 97 herb a while ago. I have barely trained it since, so I still have over a mil and 100k XP to level. Uh, pretty much from here out, it, it would be about 2.3 mil XP to get to 99. Uh, now in my bank, I do have a ton of herbs to work on, right? So, you know, easily like 1,000, 500, 600, 600, 400. 400 brews, 1,000 irids, right? Like I have tons of herbs to process here and I should have enough wines for all my dwarf weed because of all the zami. Although this account doesn't really tell the tale. Uh, the other accounts are kind of stacked on wines. Uh, this account must have made a ton of them already. Uh, yeah, 500 torstal, so that'll be a ton of super combats. Here I already have showing you um, a few thousand super attacks. Super attacks are always the highest amount and then I have a couple thousand super strengths. I actually could make about 3,000 four doses and then again another 3,000 four doses for the defense and strength. So yeah, any torso I get is excellent. I'm currently farming some of the seeds here. There's about 600 there and there's another 500. So yeah, I should easily make another thousand super combats. Although I am sitting on quite a number made all my staminas. I've used all the amylase I have possible and I combined it from all the accounts. So I'm sitting on about 3,000 stams. Hopefully that just kind of carries me for quite a while. I do use a couple in raids. However, we'll just have to see where that goes. I do plan to return to agility. Um, so yeah, we'll easily get tons of marks once we start doing agility on multiple accounts. 83 Agil, this account somehow just has a little bit higher agility, probably because I've done some prif for crystal shards casually here and there, uh, but mostly it was probably just some elite diaries or something that I threw some lamps on it, uh, or some of the Grandmaster quests, like I've done Dragon Slayer 2 and Song of the Elves on this account, which the other two, or the other three accounts have not done those two specific Grandmaster quests, so uh, probably some agility in Song of the Elves as a reward. I did the 99 mining on this account because this account will be my primary raiding account and it's helpful for not only Chambers as Eric, you can mine the rock shortcut guaranteed with 99 uh, so long as you have a pickaxe which is free points but I think it helps your damage output on guardians a little bit. Uh, anyway besides just that TOA has a room where you actually need some mining levels to speed up and the, it's the uh, uh, the room right before Akka, the puzzle room where you mine the center with the light puzzle. Yeah, that one, I think it's something in the 80s that you need, so I figured I would just get 99, and with the dragon pick, I should have no problem one downing that. Uh, smithing, most of my accounts are about close to 80 ish smithing, 70, between 75 to 80. Actually, recently did some blast furnace, so I'll show you in a bit on the other account, but. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, there's no real reason to get high smithing because even if I were to try to process all the rune darts into tips, uh, they're still worse than amethyst slightly. So currently just using up my amethyst and I'm able to mine amethyst on the side uh, and keep my dart supply up. So uh, yeah, other skills here, yeah, fishing, cooking, basically these are as low as I could have to be able to do certain diaries like fish and cook and angler fish around the 84 level. Uh, Winter Todd, gotta go back to Winter Todd for fire making, just finish them off. Most of the accounts are around 90, so I will just need to do a small couple day session. Most likely just using things like Bruise and Karambon as food, Telly to house each match, and restore my pulls, and then go back to Winter Todd with a game's neck, something like that, and uh, yeah, you finish off that 99. Now this account was the crafter of the group, so I specifically put all of my giant seaweed from runs and any molten glass or gems that I would craft 
I, I focused it on this account until I had 93 so I could boost for a torture. I ended up going one level past, so 94, so I only needed a plus four boost. Um, and actually, I think the way I just did that was instead of having to even stew for that, I just used a mushroom from Solacep Mushrooms. I think you can just go chop those at Fossil Island and you'll get some Solacep Mushroom Tops to make a mushroom pie, which this is a guaranteed plus four boost. So that was how I was able to make all of my Zenites and my Torture at the highest level crafting for any type of jewelry, which would be 98 for the Torture. So that's kind of why the crafting's there. Again, wood cutting. I literally just got 87 a little while back because now I can just drag an axe spec and I cut a redwood so I could do the Karen and Kebos Elite, which gives me this infinite teleport to Mount Chrome which is excellent for doing Hydra, so that's what I've been doing. This account is pretty much stacked to do Hydra now, and it's very nice um, to have that teleport where you just have infinite tellies unlocked. Doing it on the other account, I had to always come back with a Draymond Staff because I would use up my three teleports a day and with just the level three blessing, and it was quite annoying, so happy to finally be just be doing Hydra on the more well-built account. Um, yeah, let's see here. 99, so obviously farming every account I have 99 farming and Slayer on, so that helped me max all of my combats, including magic. Um, yeah, that was really nice. Get high prayer from all the ensouled heads and bones from like blue dragon tasks. Uh, there's also, yeah, just a lot of prayer through abyssal demon tasks because, and then this leads us to our 95 rune crafting, so this account was rushed into 95 RC after doing Dragon Slayer 2. So after doing Dragon Slayer 2, you can unlock the ability to craft Wrath Runes at 95. And uh, yeah, at 95 here, I made a handful of those. I made like 60,000 Wrath Runes in like, literally like a day or so. Like it didn't take that long. I, I was still alting on the side on all three accounts besides this account. So I casually made like 60,000, didn't take that long, and it, man, it, it takes forever to use them, because these spells that convert your bones and ashes to prayer XP, they only use one wrath rune each, and I have yet to go through even like 15,000 casts of them. I actually chewed through a lot of my wrath runes just casually casting fire, uh, the, the max fire surge spell on... Slayer tasks and I, with the Tome of Fire I was hitting like 46s or something I actually kind of slapped and got me a sizable amount of magic XP when I was still like 97 and 98 on basically all four counts I wanted to finish that off I know yeah you can just burst but when I got a Slayer task that wasn't burstable like I would literally just go to Dagonos or Anko and just AFK with auto retail and fire surge them so that's what I did for a little bit of Slayer and Magic. Uh, but yeah, the, the 95 RC has gone a long way. A um, couple skills here I missed. Thieving and Fletching. I do need to continue to just spam Artie Knights to get my thieving up. Uh, I think 85 there will be a diary where I can, I don't need a boost for. So that would be nice. I think that's the Western Elite to where I have safe Zora to do. Because this account has never even touched Zora. Well, I did the, the one account, so I've done the one account, or sorry, the one kill count on each account, but I uh, never grinded it because, yeah, these accounts don't have the diary done, so I was only doing Zora with the elite diary done to where you have the safe revive one death per day in case you were able to slip up or a disconnection happens. So yeah, there should easily be like nine of these CAs that I can do. This one probably not gonna be able to do 54 seconds without a Slayer task. Uh, yeah, these are all without a Slayer task. This one, even less than one minute would be tough. I wonder if I have it on the other account where I have 1700 KC. Probably not, so maybe can't do those two, but should be able to do everything. Can't take any damage from Snakelings, Venom Clouds, or Zora's green or crimson phase. So that's easy because the only time you take damage from Zora should be the blue phase. So the green or crimson should be fine to not do that. It's just going to be coming down to 
not taking damage from the snakelings, so learning how to, I guess, dam like hit them before they hit me. Um, and then not take any damage from clouds, just don't make any mistakes, because I kind of know where to stand most of the time. Uh, but that one does sound kind of challenging. This one's just 150 KC. Probably have to grind that out at some point if I want to do CAs. Uh, but yeah, anyway, just looking at like you know, how skills lead into diaries. That's just sort of the plans, I guess, coming down the line for one of them. Um, but yeah, basically here we have, uh, lastly, but not least a couple of skills down here at the bottom hunter basically all birdhouses I know it sounds ridiculous but yeah 87 just from birdhouses I maybe caught like a thousand red chins at some point for Armadale but most of my chin hunting was actually on a different account with slightly higher than this so that's mostly birdhouses uh, and then 85 con I just I basically did mahogany homes from like 70 to 85 and a little bit of mahogany tables on some accounts but it was mostly mahogany homes because you use drastically uh, less planks from you know mahogany planks doing the mahogany homes construction contracts so I ended up getting like 85 on each account because you can't actually boost with the crystal saw the invisible plus three that it gives to do a fairy ring in your house which is a level 85 con item so I kind of just got the flat level for that and uh, yeah, ever since that I just built my fairy ring in my house my house is pretty decked out I have the max rejuvenation pool because of that as well and yeah it's very nice to just go to my house be able to click the pool have access to a fairy ring for clues God only knows how many times I have used that so yeah uh, we can go over the bank it's you know I I tend to organize my bank in a specific way, right? So my main tab will always have like coins. So uh, when I play Hardcore Iron Man, my first item in my bank will be like a Ring of Life until I get 99 defense and then it's the defense cape. That just shows that if I want to check if I'm wearing my safety, you know, Ring of Life style item that it's up here. The most important item in the game for me is keeping my account alive. So. I always put it there and then you know you just have your basic like dragon tools if I don't have dragon tools it's rune tools so it's typically like a rune axe and a rune pickaxe uh, obviously I always put money here Draymond staff spade for clues I always put a light source up here and then I try to throw some type of food and energy potions um, these are just like throwaways like I can just pull out five and then if I don't even use them then I'll just drop them like it doesn't matter these are worthless to me but in case I do like a clue or something or or during questing again most of this stems from the early game of the accounts doing all the questing so um, yeah a lot of that honestly I could switch out but again you know there's just some useful teleports like this will teleport me to from me once a day and then all these three types of jewelry they're most commonly used uh, and they have such a variety of teleports like they, they have like five teleports each or something which is pretty ridiculous how far across the game that'll get you then I lead into my runes and farming items so obviously I'll put basically every rune that I acquire here with teleport tabs here typically it's only house tabs uh, and then I'll throw my rune pouch because obviously you'll if you're gonna use your rune pouch you'll want it next to the runes then I move right into farming so that's why you see like I have the farming cape actually that should probably be something like that so I'll go farming cape and then this gets me to the farming guild pre 99 so but I'll still kind of leave these here because doing 98 farming levels where you have the skills necklaces here I kind of still will use it for like mining guild and woodcutting guild and fishing guild teleports so I kind of just got used to keeping them here so I'll still keep them here even though obviously the cape is infinite till he's there and then I have stuff like Xerix Tally, which teleports me to the Xerix Glade, which is a farming patch. Or I could just use my house and go outside, because it's in Karend as well. Uh, these crystals take you to Letya, which there's a fruit tree in there. So again, this all stems from like herb lore and farming. So for a farm run, I'll take out like my cape, my room pouch for Tellies. 
uh, you know, until I get the cape, I'll need a skills neck to get the farming guild. That's for a patch. This is for a fruit tree patch. And then the way I farm is with herb sack, uh, explorer's ring, arty cloak, ectophile. So I'll bring out all those items. And what I do is I take only a couple seeds at a time of each type. So I'll take like three of like an important seed like snaps or lanthodime or very high xp and then i'll take like three kind of throwaway seeds that i have like infinite of like toad flax and irits something like that so if i have eight patches i'll take three three two and typically you only get about 10 per seed so that's why i bring the herb sack because with an open herb sack you'll actually just pluck the herbs directly into the sack during an herb run um, so it's, it's very convenient and it, it lets me basically just pick, 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 and then as soon as it's done, I just immediately plant and tell you to the next patch. There's no running to the leprechaun and stuff, so I feel like it it honestly ends up being worth it. Um, so that's why you know I have the herb sack there with my farming teleports, uh, and then from there it's just random miscellaneous teleports and stuff, and yeah, then moving into tons of gear. So gear, obviously. I pretty much just put like all melee weapons and then melee gear and then you know it starts turning into amulets and jewelry and then yeah it kind of gets all over the place here but in general I know that I'll just find somewhere in here my combat gear and obviously as that develops like I still have my mystic here because sometimes I'll have traded my arams over to a different account so I might not have the arams on this account it might be like this where it's grayed out uh, and I don't have it, so I'll have to opt out for this. Something like that, right? Uh, that's typically why I would have stuff like that. You know, Zami robes, monk robes are you know, god items for god wars. So when I do Zami and Sarah trips, I'll bring like one of those and then drop it in the room just for the protection until I enter the room. Uh, yeah, then just basically miscellaneous stuff like uh, you know, ranged gear. Then there's just some throwaway ranged gear here darts like I'll use that for Hespori or whatnot uh, and then just a ton of like junk for clues like Amy defense magic those are used for clues I know this bronze full helm iron plate that's for some type of easy clue have yet to build the hidey hole for it but when I get it you know I'll build the hidey hole again um, yeah I have a ton of hidey holes built it's just not not all of them so there's like a couple miscellaneous ones just some other random junk that I get from clues. This obviously will all need to be filtered out once I officially kind of stop doing clues, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen because, uh, yeah, let's get to the some of the good stuff. So starting to stack up here elites and hards and even a couple of mediums because so these are completed clue caskets ready to be opened. So I could literally just click these and get the clue loot from each one but I'm starting to stack them up this mostly stemmed from my Skatizo totems here in my loot tab so basically from um, Skatizo I did about 70 to 80 totems on several of these accounts so far and that's from all the totems that I got doing 99 Slayer so I started to do all the clues and dropping them it's shown in a previous method how I could just drop the elite and hard clue that I get each time and stack a few up there at the grand exchange floor and then do them all at once because then I'll bank all my combat gear for Skatizo and just pull out like teleports and the you know, spade, Draymond staff, stuff that I normally wouldn't want on me doing Skatizo uh, because he, he can kind of slap you for a couple 30s back to back and make you eat like five or six foods so yeah that's uh that's what I've been working on as far as the clues, and then you have some nice items here like crystal armor seeds, god sword shards, um, yeah, just some generic items. Got my fourth hydra leather, so I have three here, and I have ferocious gloves up top uh, as my melee weapon or gloves. So, yeah, I have four hydra leathers in about a thousand KC total, and yeah, we have no claw yet, so we're still grinding hydra. We don't even have the brimstone ring completed yet, but uh, got the pet on this account. I have a Hydra's Fang and another Hydra piece for the ring, but I'm still missing the third piece to even make the brimstone ring, which is pretty crazy how I have four leathers and nothing else really. Uh, 
much. Yeah, that's kind of that. Um, as far as... Uh, then there's kind of like my skilling tab, right? So it starts with ores and bars. Because for quests, like I can't tell you how many quests in this game. Say, pull out like five iron bars, two steel bars, whatever. A silver bar. You know, you're going to need a sapphire, an emerald, like... An unbelievable amount of quests will require that, so I'll always have stuff like that at the top here with gems. Now, I do things like I'll swap, and then like I'll swap these around quite often, depending on what I'm doing. So you can see my gold bars are here, and I just recently made a bunch of dragon stones. So what I'll do is I'll go to the X, and then I'll withdraw like 13, and then when that happens... Um, my X is now my left click so I'll do 13 and 13 so so like I'll drag like whatever gem I'm making like right next that's why things are kind of all over the place and scattered uh, and then you just see a ton of seeds here but that's because right here is all my birdhouse stuff so I'll pull out you know, the hammer chisel my houses that are pre-built one of the ne necklaces the telly there um, and then you know five magic logs to replace them and then below I just throw miscellaneous amounts of seeds that I will get that apply for birdhouses so again that's just kind of how I keep it there um, yeah, up to over 10,000 bucks of sand those will eventually be made into glass at some point need to spend a lot of time doing that I have enough giant seaweed to do so just gonna take time uh, yeah over 50,000 cannonballs just on this account I have another 30,000 you know in the in the group storage so yeah, I, I recently turned about 20,000 steel bars that I had stacked from various things into uh, cannonballs using a double mold. So every count has the double mold, and I did that all at the edge of a furnace on an alt while I was doing hydra and whatnot. Uh, so that when I finish this task and then I need more hydras, if I get something like fire giants, you know, in the Mount Krelm which is something I just did, or Dagonos, or Calphite, something that you can cannon really quickly and just get the points for instead of keep sinking 30 points per skip. I'm trying to keep my Slayer points relatively high on this account because I value this account's uh, Slayer point totals quite a lot because it does have better gear than any of the other accounts. And if there's anything that I need to PVM and boss for through a Slayer task, then this is my go-to. So. I don't want to just send 30 points on every skip if it's not Hydra, so I will do like some of this quicker tasks just to keep my points rolling in. Uh, yeah, just a ton of random loots, and basically it's all my ores, bars, and gems, logs, anything that's kind of like skilling, like mining, smithing, and woodcutting related, I will put in here. Uh, some one day stamps for when I did blast, so you got all my gold, coal. Addy, Myth, and Rune will come up here at 85 smithing too with one dose stam so I can just pull out one dose stam and then literally my mouse is over top of this ore so I'll go like one dose and then immediately once I click that just left click this as well and then that's an excellent way to pull out items for the blast furnace runs uh, but yeah then moving into food tab so this you know kind of miscellaneous in here I have some random things like the Gommel's Hilt just because I needed a you know, place for certain items like an imbued heart. That's kind of like a it's like a pre-pot item in a lot of cases. So like an angler and an imbued heart will be like a pre-pot. So that's why you'll find like an imbued heart in here. Um, yeah, some miscellaneous stuff like this doesn't necessarily need to be here. But um, basically, yeah, like... I just have all my food in here or anything cooking related like dishes, bowls, obviously probably don't need that but what happens is I'll stew boost and then I'll have a bunch of empty ones and if I'm you know I don't drop them they end up coming in the bank somewhere so I may as well store them here. Uh, some smithing boosts in case I ever need them probably won't but just in case and then any type of raws I'll put in the top right so that it's easier closer to the X say I'm not using my keyboard or something to X with the escape key then I can just go like that and then close out quicker so that's why I'll put raws basically on the right side and then from the left side in it's basically like actual like the best in slot cooked stuff so mostly these couple here uh, 
but yeah, then potions. So I always go, like, this kind of gets a little messy because I always like to keep, like, the 3, 2, and 1 dose next to the 4 dose. But for things like prayer and brews and restores, that doesn't really matter because, like, when would you ever want a 2 dose prayer dose pot? Almost never because it's just better to have a 4 dose. And you're arguing, that, well, well, why can't you do that then for these potions too? Well, sometimes I'll do a Fossil Island Wyvern task and even when I pot like every minus four stats that I degrade, I typically fill up on bones or loot after like two doses. So it's actually kind of important to pull out like a two dose set of each type. Um, and I've gone over that before, I think, but in case you're wondering, that's just something I do. And that's why I keep like 200 of each. I actually intentionally decanted a few hundred of these one dosers. It's like, that's a nice pre-pot because once I drink it, it's literally gone. I smash the vial and it's gone rather than you pull out this and then you have a three dose that you have to deposit. So just some conveniences there. I'll throw my torstal next to this because when I obviously do seven of each, right, I'll need to go down the line and make super combats. Uh, the Fally Shield is basically prayer, so whenever I would need prayer pods, this is just a reminder that I get two full restores every single day with that, so that's nice. And then you just have a ton of like high level pots here like stams. Anti Venoms, the Anti Venom Plus. Like, I'll literally use this instead of um, an antidote because I would rather turn Zora Scales into, uh, with the antidote, into this and then use this as the same type of potion just for the long, long term antidote or long term anti poison effect. But I've already kind of gotten the Herb Lawyer XP out of adding the scales so if I use these then I, I effectively waste the opportunity to get some nice herbal or XP from it and yeah it does use up scales but it's not that much and you know I can easily fish those on the side thousands of crystal shards and that'll be you know turned into dust and can make divine pots so as I make divine ranging and divine super combats uh, you know that's why that's kind of there and then the rest of it all just kind of like the the random one and two doses that will never really apply so uh, like I just would never really need like a one dose extended super anti most likely just gonna pull it out of this so yeah uh, herb lore herb lore tab so I always just go in order from Guam all the way up to the maximum I throw the pestle mortar the vial of water right somewhere in the middle here between the grimy and the clean um, just because it adds a little bit of a separation here and when I put them into potions I'll do 14 and 14 although I don't do that anymore so I guess yeah technically I could just kind of fully section that off but you know pre diary where you go and pay the person in Narda to put them all in potions for you I would have to pull out 14 of these and then 14 there so I kind of centralized the vial of water and as close to the center as I can so that way I have a closer reach like here and then here right or here and then here here and here here and here it's just a little bit closer and centralized to put it here again just all makes sense in the grand scheme of things so then you have you know just your amulets of chemistry in case I utilize them and then here you'll see again I'll order these in the level but what I'll do is I'll put the secondary directly below it now Guam's I never make those anymore but they'll be in here randomly so just leave those there but uh, Hairlander I do make those so you got the chocolate dust right below it Ranner you have the snake grass right below it toad flax you got the brew nest right below it Irits, you got your eyes of newt Avanto you got your more marfungus quorm you got your limps Snap, you got your red spider egg, and then cat in time, you have white berry. But then once you hit here, then I can't put lantadime there because that's reserved for the, the secondary. And then again, most of this layer will be uh, again reserved. So I have to actually go two down, and then you'll see lanta with the secondary, dwarf food with the secondary. And then from there, just a ton of fillers, anything that's kind of herb lore related in here, besides, you know, a couple of random things like watering cans but basically any type of nest so I'll throw like the birds nests stuff in here it says I need to loot some of them uh, and then you know if 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 an herb lore secondary has like multiple types like I could use dragon scale dust or cacti for lantadine 
so I'll just put it somewhere nearby. Yeah. Typically though, the more commonly used one I'll put directly below, so don't need anywhere near as many anti-fire pots, and they're less XP per than uh, cacti, so yeah, that's why I would prioritize that. Farming, you just basically have every seed. A lot of people use the seed vault, but I think it's a huge waste of time to sporadically be at a bank and then think, oh, I need to do an, a farm run or an herb run. Oh, I have all my seeds in the seed vault, so I gotta get my teleport out, teleport there, pull them out. Well, I save that step and I just pull them right out. Like, I have bank space, I may as well use it. Spirit seeds, trade all of those in for tier 5 seed packs because you get some nice ones like snap or torsal seeds. But yeah, basically these herb seeds, they're all in order of level requirement. So I pretty much memorized that, well, okay, the first four you're never going to farm, right? And then it's from the fifth one, which is Ranner. Then it's all the farmable seeds. So starting with the Ranner, you know, I know that that's where the most, you know, important seeds start. And yeah, typically you just have way too many irits. You'll never be able to get through those. Evento, just never be able to because you get so many from contracts that you can never really chew through them enough. Um, yeah, basically, then just other high level seeds like these are some of my mo most frequently used ones. I would rather not farm dwarf weed because the secondary is very limiting, but I always want to chew through my lanta and cat in time, so those will always be low typically. Snaps are very important, and then quorum, obviously, I'd like to get through as well. Have tons of like palm and other high level seeds, like the palm, magic, yew, and dragon fruit. I will easily put into uh, plant pots and then use humidify to grow them. And then down here, you just have various things uh, that I'll use. And typically, if I'm going to do like a tree run, it's very it's very rare that you actually do tree runs because you get to 99 fairly quickly, but. Yeah, I, I would even just search what sapling I use or I'll stick it right here next to the white berry or the ivy berries because there's my calquats. So I'll always do one calquat and that requires 10 noted ivy berries to pay the guy so that that never dies. And then I'll throw like my fruit tree and current harp, you know, normal wood tree here. So I'll just take like five of these, five of these, and then one and then 10 noted. That's typically my tree run. Then you have just a bunch of Slayer loot tabs, so I'll throw like Insult Heads in here. Um, yeah, that's just where I figured out. And I'll, I'll throw like these untradeable items like my Ancient Shards and Totem Pieces and then Half Keys. Again, just things that you'll get from Slayer and the Catacombs. Any type of tools that I would need, which typically it's like a face mask, a nose peg until you make the Slayer Helm. But once you have the Slayer Helm, then that's like my helmet slot, so I'll put that over there in the main gear tab, but they have rock hammer, something that you can never get rid of, so. Then just all the alks, so like tons of alkables. Make sure to keep like a rune boot for the clue step. I know there's like a dragon med that I needed for a clue that I didn't have. Uh, I'm recently finding out there's like a rune longsword uh, clue step for an elite. So, you know, I try to keep like one of every alkable on me at some point, because you're probably gonna need it for a clue step. But yeah, a lot of this is recently Hydra, and then yeah, just like Brimstone Keys in here, a couple of Dark Bows. Uh, yeah, these were from Cow Fight Queen. They're literally just cash on the GE. They're actually quite expensive. So I don't know, if I end up doing KQ and I stack like mills worth of them, I'll drop it over to my main, make some cash or something. Then I'll just throw all miscellaneous stuff. This is basically just junk. Just a giant junk tab with random outfits and things like that. Uh, nothing real important in here, uh, but I do put my rings at the top first, so you know if I ever need like a new ring of life, I know where to find that. Um, and yeah, the last tab, this has always been like my, uh, just like a ton of ammunition and like prayer bones and stuff. So like I'll typically need to go through a lot of types of bones doing the slime and stuff such method but ever since I stopped doing that I'll still keep bones in here uh, but then I just have thousands and thousands of rune ammunition other types of ammunition like these I would eventually use in a raid because they're, they hit pretty hard and uh, yeah they're free from Hydra right now these I'll alk 
dragon arrows, save for obviously a better bow, like a twisted bow. And I'll keep like diamond and ruby bolts in here. Uh, things like chins, you know, may as well, it's some type of ammunition. So yeah, just tons of like crazy stuff in here. I guess I included these with the bones, but those are for construction rather. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of like the bank. And I have some pretty nice gear, you know, for PVM. Um, I'll, I'll show like the other accounts too. So, uh, fishing Zora scales here. This is the second account. This was the one that did all the Zora. So, sitting at a high uh, magic level, most likely from that. Let me actually see if I did that one speed trial on here because this account has the 1700 Zora that I did. So I have five out of nine. I don't think I did. Yeah, I, d I didn't even get the one minute one. So, but I did do the one minute 20 second kill Zora Master. So I never did perfect Zora and I never did any of the ridiculous time ones. A snake rebound kills Zora by using the vengeance spell as the finishing blow. That should be pretty easy. I'm surprised I never did that given that this account has 1700 but it's because I never used Venge I actually used Thralls I can't remember if I did Spellbook Swap into the Thrall but I don't think I did because then I would have used Venge also uh, so yeah I'm not quite sure but I don't really care about the CAs too much on these accounts like these are just like my side alts they were meant to be DPS at God Wars and group bosses, uh, but now they're just like skilling accounts, and you know they're keeping my total level high for the group. So again, that goes to the high scores. Uh, but yeah, if we go over like the stats, obviously 99 combats. Somehow I'm not 99 range on this account, but I am 99 uh, mage range and melee stats on every other account. This is, I guess, the one that's two levels off. For some reason, we'll eventually get that out with crabs. Uh, again, 81 agility is always like my baseline. I always go to 81 because it's like it gives you access to Cerberus shortcut at 80 and the Fremenic Slayer dungeon to get to like Kurasks a little bit quicker at 81. It's not that important, but I think 80 is really, really important for Cerberus. So, uh, yeah, this account did a ton of Cerb too. High mining, so I just wanted the level to do Amethyst at some point, and I might just finish 99 through Amethyst or through Stars. They're super AFK, so at some point we'll get that. Again, yeah, just the smithing is just sitting around a level where I had it high enough for diaries and just using any Addy that I got, maybe making dart tips. Uh, the fishing and cooking, obviously, so I, yeah, I've gotten a few fishing levels just from scales here. And honestly, probably going to finish 99 just from Zoro scales and anglers. Things that are really, really slow XP, but they're getting me high tier supplies like scales and anglerfish. I um, actually have a high herb blue level here, so almost 90 just on this account. Um, one, because I my eventual goal was, of course, you want to just get 99s in all skills, but Herblor being one of the slower ones. I prioritized my first account with the Herblor, but now that he can make basically everything, um, I started just sending a ton of Herblor on these accounts as well. So one thing that's nice is 75 plus Herblor so that I can at least clean any torso that this account acquires, rather than have to trade over the, the grimy torso and then clean it on my main account. That just always seemed kind of odd, so uh, it's very nice to at least have 75. Uh, but then, yeah, getting to 90 is also great because now I can make Super Comets as well, which take a lot of time. It, it takes a very long time, so doing it at an alt account uh, is going to save me a lot of time where I can do that while I'm bossing or raiding, potentially. Again, the thieving, these accounts, they do just need to s hit up some arty knights and get that a little higher. Uh, but I boosted for the 85 diary step already. This account already has that Zora diary done. And that's why I have 1,727 Zora kills on this account. So, completed the Zora, finally got my blowpipe at that KC on this account. So, at 90 crafting, I have done a ton of gem cutting from all the star mining I've done. So, you get a ton of gems from star mining. 
and since I did so much star mining because it's super AFK to do on alt accounts ended up just having enough to do really high crafting so that's just kind of there again most of the accounts I stopped winter Todd around 90 fire making so we need to go back this account needs to finish up 99 wood cutting at redwoods but one thing that I did do and I made sure to do with broad ammo and fletching maples from kingdom and fletching any other random logs I get into longbows and just leaving them like that for the XP uh, was to get 90 fletching because you'll see on a later account here that um, I've, I can fletch the redwoods up at the redwood chopping location and never have to move or bank uh, so it's like an infinite you could literally go straight to 99 and just stack arrow shafts for eventual 99 fletching through feathers and then attaching broad arrowheads you can purchase from the Slayer Masters. Other skills again 99 farming and, and Slayer those are on all four accounts. Slayer was to get my combats up and then uh, now that I'm max combats with 99 Slayer and then you know, farming was also to just get high herb lore for at least one account to be able to make every type of potion. Uh, but yeah, ever since stopped doing like tree runs and such. Uh, this is the account where I caught the chins. So I caught like 10,000 chins or so. But I got kind of spooned at Arma. I got two helms, the plate and the legs. The, you know, the chain skirt and the chest plate from Arma at like 200 or something Arma kills in total. So I ended up finishing Arma so quick that I just don't have that much Hunter done because I you know I would do a lot of red chins for that. And then the, there's the 85 con base that I sort of explained uh, to be able to build things like the max pool as well as the fairy ring. So yeah, then runecraft, again, this will be my lowest skill on an account that I didn't push for it on, uh, simply because it's not AFK at all. It's a huge grind and I'll, I'll leave this as my lowest skill so that I get tiers of Guthix XP in it. So I can do tiers of Guthix once a week. And that'll give me about 11 or 12k XP. It's usually about 11k XP. If I can do it on all four accounts, it's pretty chill. And I'll work that into like a daily urban farm run. Um, about once every week. Typically when the weekend starts, I just know that it's been long enough. And then I'll get a handful of RC XP for that. But yeah, that's like the second account. Um... I'm moving along here so yeah it's just fishing this is just this sessions worth 61,000 here um, I've been banking them to be able to upkeep them on my uh, account doing Hydra so as I use them at Hydra I easily replenish them in the same time spent so I never really go down and then uh, yeah there you have a another account sort of gone over so let's go on to the third account here so this is my woodcutting method from 90 to 99 I will just sit here at Redwoods and fletch the shafts with 90 fletching so I make sure that I get 90 fletching as well before I come up here with woodcutting and yeah I got the full lumberjack on each account I have access to dragon axe this felling axe actually does nothing different if you don't have those rations but I can't be bothered to do forestry ever, so I'll just chill to 99 here. Actually, only 100k off, so probably gonna hit that like later today, even. But yeah, finally finished with this wood cutting, and then I'll be able to leave. Probably go do some mining, maybe do amethyst with the other accounts, or I could go fish because I'm a couple levels off 99 fishing. Maybe I'll do angler fish just to start stacking a few thousand of those. Uh, but already being 99 cooking, I'm actually 15 mil XP. So two mil over because this account most likely did all of the cooking. Once I first hit 99 and I could never burn anything again, I would cook all the anglers and sea turtles and raw manta rays that I had from Temporos Ross and other various things like fishing them. Um, I think fishing trawler alone on four accounts to get four angler sets uh, gave me a handful of a couple thousand mantas and raw sea turtles and then tempo ross again on four accounts gets you a lot of those as well so i cooked about two mil xp worth of them to just have a hundred percent of them as cooked usable food 
So that's why that's a little bit over. Decent herb lore on here. Mainly shot up for 75 so I can at least clean Torstol, clean every herb in the game. Uh, but then just making a few thousand pots so that it's it doesn't take as much time on other accounts. Yeah, just trying to chew through all those herbs that I get. Um, yeah, high high thieving here, so I actually went a bit out of the way on the thieving, a little bit higher on this account. Did a bunch more arty nights, and now that I'm this high, this account can just go to Master Farmer and have a decent success rate at pickpocketing. Uh, which will get me like good Rainer seeds as well as birdhouse seeds to so just stack up all those like potato, onion, and hop seeds uh, to just have birdhouse seeds infinitely. But those are pretty, you know, abundant, so I don't really need to spend too much time thieving. Crafting, that's mostly just casually from gems. Um, fletching, again, just at least got 90 through various things like broad ammunition, tons of broad bolts to be able to do things like my shaman grind that I've been through, um, as well as uh, broad arrows then just for the raw XP. Almost 99 woodcut. Uh, yeah, same deal here, you got the, flet or the farming and the slayer for max combats and high herb lore. And then yeah, 85 again. That the, this hunter strictly birdhouses. 83 con. I actually did a plus two boost for the 85 to do the fairy ring. So that's why you know this is sitting at 83, and the other counts have 85. I ended up stopping at two levels short just because felt like it, and I could easily get a plus two boost making some tea in my kitchen in the house. So yeah, and then again, both of these last two counts are about 60. 9 or 70 RC just so that tears of Gothic's XP can go into it um, and then yeah some of the other lowest skills on the account is like smithing which you don't really need crafting you don't really need herb lore a lot of those are those types of artisan skills where you're bank standing and as long as one account in the group has it I don't need to have like 95 crafting because my main account has 94 and can make all the Zenites so no need to have this higher. Uh, didn't really go over the prayer, but yeah, prayer are all in the 90 plus, and that was for quality of life with, uh, you know, drinking prayer doses through Slayer and God Wars. God Wars is a big one, so Bandos and Zami. Getting that extra point or two from having higher prayer really helps, and just having a higher totaled AFK Slayer tasks uh, makes it very chill. And then yeah, I get a full inventory of redwood logs and I just sit here and fletch them and this arrow shaft stack grows tremendously. So I'll eventually feather those and then with about a million of those can get me to 99 fletching easily. So that's only a small portion of the shafts I have. Most of them are in the bank because you know, since I've last come here I banked my items and I've only made that many so far. So yeah, we can move on to the last and the fourth account here. So currently, uh, this was my primary amethyst miner, so I'll put the D pick on it. The gear is actually all necessary here, so the full prospector, just for that bonus XP. A glory with charge so that gems can go into the gem bag. That's just free. Uh, if I'm going to be doing long-term sessions here, I may as well go the extra step and wear you know, things like the glory. The celestial ring for that invisible boost, plus four. And then this account did enough of this to where I have enough minerals and I was able to get my expert mining gloves, which used to make the amethyst mine last longer. So sometimes when you mine the amethyst, instead of it just being a one and done, which is where it was before this Jagex's last update, um, you, you could buy these eventually through unidentified minerals and it would do the same thing that the update does. It might still extend it by like an additional amethyst, but it's so much nicer now. See, I just mined one, I got the XP drop, but I'm still mining the same vein. And again, I just got another one, still mining the same vein. So whether that was a glove proc or just the update, uh, you can kind of sit on the same like vein here for a few mines and uh, makes the amethyst stacking much, much nicer. So um, yeah, that just got like three or four out of that same vein and it lets me AFK on the side so much nicer. I'm um, actually going to go just check how much I have stacked. So I haven't been here that long, just a couple days now, and I'm curious like how much amethyst 
So almost a thousand stack, which is about, I think, what is it, six or eight? I think it's eight dart tips per. So that's about 8,000 or so darts, which should refill my blowpipe back to a nice healthy stack uh, as I'm getting close to running out from doing thousand, uh, about 1,000 Hydra. And obviously I'm gonna wear my D-Pick because I can spec with it every now and then. Uh, just boost my level up a bit and uh, yeah, it just has a better success rate at mining than a rune. Yeah, skills wise, again, same spiel with like the max combats, about 90 prayer, uh, that 99 slayer and farming. Again, that's something that I just did. Every account had no shortcuts to doing that. Um, ton of HP XP going well, well over 13 mil. Yeah, high mining level. This mining has been from 92 to 95, almost 96 here just from amethyst. So this has funded my tens of thousands of amethyst darts that I use for raids and hydra. So that's lovely. Uh, this was the account where I actually did a ton of Blast Furnace on. So I, I just did a couple levels too, from 85 to this, almost 88 here. Um, the goal is to get to 89 and be able to at least process rune bars into dart tips so that the couple thousand rune bars I have would just be a nice stack of like 20,000 rune darts. And they are slightly worse than Amethyst, but it's a nice substitute so that I don't need to slave away at Amethyst as much. Again, the agility is pretty standard. Uh, high enough herb lore to do clean at least every herb in the game, like Torstal, uh, which is 75. The fishing and cooking, you know, this would be an easy 99s to go for through Karamblon and then fishing anglerfish. You could do Zoro scales. I've done some lava or rather they're called infernal eels, but four lava scale shards, which lets me upgrade them into, uh, upgrade my anti-fire potions into like the extended version, as well as it lets you extend or upgrade your super anti-fires, which is the big one from Vorkath bones, into extended super anti-fire. But not gonna ever do a ton of Vorkath, but, you know, I do want some of those scales for eventually just extended normal anti-fires for things like Drake tasks, which I've actually been running into a lot. So Drakes, I found they made a lot better. You used to take like little chip damage, like threes and fours from the little f fireball attack that hits you, even if you were anti-fire potted. But now it's all zeros if you're wearing anti-fire shield and potted with an anti-fire potion. So now you can actually f fully AFK them and take very little damage, whereas before you had to watch and try to dodge that every six attacks or you would eat like 20 damage worth of hits from it. So huge quality of life upgrade to Drakes and I now prefer them as a task. They have excellent drops and I'm trying to get that Devout Boot upgrade for the uh, Holy Sandals, I believe. I do have a pair of Holy Sandals, so I just need the Drakes item. Uh, through Slayer eventually, so that'll eventually happen. 80-ish something thieving, again, just tons of Arty Knights got me here, and I will need to do tons more to continue leveling that. Uh, again, crafting just from various gems and whatnot from all the star mining that I did to at least 92 mining. Uh, Winter Todd will have to go back, finish 99. Wood cutting, so I, I did break into the Redwood territory and I also have the 90 fletching prepared. So this account is a nice long term, it has a very very nice long AFK session to go at Redwoods just finishing an, a full 99 woodcut there, fletching all the logs into shafts as as you can see this account is literally doing so. Uh, as soon as that one leaves this one will go there and then I'll probably take the woodcutter to here and mine Amethyst. So just swapping places, finishing 99s off. I um, actually did a handful of Guardians of the Rift, so when I was doing Guardians of the Rift, I actually was doing it on a couple accounts at the same time at certain points, while the other two were like very AFK, like fishing or just AFK woodcutting, something extremely AFK while I did Guardians of the Rift. It would be a bit too difficult to do Guardians of the Rift on all four at once, so I was trying to do half and half, so two there. And then when those two are done in high runecrafting, then I do Guardians of the Rift on the other two. Well, these two AFK'd, 
Uh, so this was the one that I guess I did a lot of Guardians of Rift with. So I'm a little bit higher. I can craft Blood Runes with this, um, which is nice. But I'm looking to get the full outfit from there before I would do Zaya RC at Bloods with Bloods because then I would get Amplified Rune amounts uh, through the Zaya RC method. 85 Hunter, pretty standard, literally all birdhouses. So typically, yeah, I'm about 85 plus Hunter there, just from birdhouses. And then the con, again, at base level 85, so I can just build the fairy ring without boosting. And uh, it didn't honestly take that long at Mahogany Homes and doing things like smashing out mahogany tables. Uh, so yeah, uh, there's a nice overview of every stat how I got there why each account has those stats around 2100 total on each account here uh, the highest of the group here is 2116 so actually only like what is that 12 plus 16 28 total level separates my lowest skill total account from the highest um, which is kind of nuts because so I've managed to stay within 30 levels of total level uh, of each other now that probably has changed here and there throughout but that just goes to show how once you hit these like 80 plus in all skills like I'm 85 on like every skill at least uh, the XP per level is just so drastically advanced that that total level really just does creep to a halt and you only get like a level here and there throughout the days and weeks that you play so um, yeah I, I just wanted to go over a bit of the accounts and their skills and progress um, show some of the bank I think one thing I need to do left here uh, to show is the group storage so this is it's not the most organized like things like I've thrown all my moles items from mole in here I just need to go loot those eventually uh, that was from each account doing at least 20 kills that's why you see about 80 total claws because I, I did my 20 KC for the max CA and then I left um, and then so instead of going to Weissen on each account one at a time I just banked them all in the group storage so I can just go on one account uh, but I put like money and all these runes up here huge stacks of like blood souls wraths if I ever run out of laws I'll just withdraw like a thousand from here cosmics for enchanting gnats but but each account has enough gnats and cosmics and laws basically for eternity for itself uh, waters was because doing slayer uh, I was doing a lot of barrage tasks so would run out of those and I would just buy them on a different account not doing Slayer in the meantime there's a nice 87,000 scale stack so that you know I'll obviously need to just I'll just pull 50k there because I'm gonna go put 60k in from the Fisher so have a nice large chunk there uh, then I'll put like potions stews for stew boosts just hundreds and hundreds of useful potions uh, barely ever use these anymore probably just going to turn them all into super combats uh, stamps I should probably throw like a thousand from this account in there because who knows if um if I ever do I just actually have never done that yet because I just assume that this account we use most of them through raids like chambers is Eric but yeah not a bad idea to just throw that in there because I will use some for blast furnace and other skilling activities that require stam doses just some extended super extended anti-fires for things like drake tasks that I've been doing lately um, yeah just stacks and brews and restores again prayer for all types of bossing and slayer when I was doing god wars this was very nice because I just pull out what I needed if an account was missing some uh, but typically each account has a handful of a couple hundred in their bank if not a few thousand brews actually just curious this account doesn't even have that many of the total on my four, and I have 6.6k brews, 1.6k restores. Um, so yeah, that uh, just goes to show that I, I I barely have anything in here. Each account has their own individual stacks of thousands. Just some, and then just some other like casual items. So house tabs, few thousand 
thousands of good food, so if I ever need to do some like combat achievements on another account or do some type of bossing, right, I have access to this high tier food of any sort, and every account has their own stacks of 10,000 Karambon and a couple thousand of these each. So this is just like extra in case I run out. And then I'll just throw like any raw karams that need cooked in here. Any of this raw stuff that just needs cooked by any account at some point will be in here. A few thousand just redwoods for birdhouses when they get there. If they ever need them. There's my stack of cannonballs. I'll just throw like huge stacks of gems. In case I ever just need to make like tons of re recoil rings or whatever. Any type of jewelry. Um... You know, I just go into the group storage, pull out what I need. Uh, yeah, just things like these diamond tips, gold leaves. I, I don't know why I bought so many of these, but I, I must have just bought like 10. And then, yeah, they're just chilling here for when I eventually need them. Um, yeah, who knows? <laughs> I know there was something that I used them for on this account that maybe needed two of them. So I can imagine why I'd have six so three sets of two for the other three accounts. But I don't exactly know what that is at the moment, if that even exists. Um, or it's for hidey holes, so like a master step hidey hole. I'll find use eventually in that. Um, so yeah, then just ton other gems, huge stacks of like seeds. Like I actually didn't even know these were in here, <laughs> you know. But but I can just search seed. Uh, it's kind of difficult to organize this because there actually is like a bottom to it on the group storage here. There's literally a bottom and like I can't drag items to like the bottom here. Like I can't drag it any lower than this. So like it's really weird. Like I can't go past this point. So it's, yeah, I don't know. I, things are kind of just scattered where they are. Like I could obviously put these herb seeds here. But again, like I'll pull them all out and then that'll just remove it because I don't really use the, um, yeah, I don't know. Actually, now that I'm, huh, I, I can get more uh, unlocks by opening with the fancy boots. That's really, really weird. Um, again, most of these are like after achieving a level 99 in a skill. I actually didn't know this was a thing. So, combat 126, so 98 prayer, and I can do that. Anyone after achieving every medium achievement diary. So, the medium and the hard one will be locked behind the wilderness ones. I don't think I'll ever do that, but whatever, that's six slots. And I'll never do the elite uh, wildy, so. Have any member open this after killing every elite? So, if I do the elite CAs, then I can open it and get that. Other than that, I actually have most of the unlocks here, it looks like. So maybe just a 126 combat. Um, I can maybe do like the medium one for the wildy. And then uh, elite CAs are coming on this account soon at some point. But then other than that, it's just a ton of 99s. Like these are so easy. 99 woodcut, that'll literally happen here in uh, just like 100k XP. So. Um, yeah, getting a ton of unlocks here uh, would be nice. Um, I actually didn't know that existed, but I thought this was this is the same icon for in your bank when you hold a placeholder or something when you withdraw it all. So I thought maybe if I withdrew all these seed stacks, it would leave like a shadow of zero, just so that it maintains its place. But yeah. Anyway, back to what we were going over. So it yeah, just various junk like four blood shards. I know that I'm keeping my blood shards in here currently, and there might even be some on other accounts, but yeah, like just bandage hilts that I don't have blades to make. Uh, here's my shards. I have um, three of these shards, one of these, and like zero of the shard one. So like I literally can't make any more of these, but I already have two bandages, god swords built. But when I plan to go back to Zami for Things like the hilts to then do Sarah, which I would want ACV and hilt. Then I'll probably get enough shards to be able to build more god swords. Yeah, just huge stacks of like bolts, like these I'll use for raids. So I've made tons of them. Um, 
yeah, various like like herb lore seconds like a snake grass is most likely the one that I'll throw in here because every account might need prairie pots and that actually is one of the lower stacks of things because they're so useful so I'll typically end up doing that snap a thousand random snapdragons that need made probably because I'm missing the spider eggs so yeah I don't have enough to make all of my um, snapdragon potions and herbs into super stores so that will always be a limiting factor is going back to the spideens and as you can see there's my 7,000 raw sardines to go with it so you know whenever I need to do spideens but I'm not low on super restores that's just herb lore xp in the future uh, random barrows gear I was throwing a lot of barrows dupes in here <sighs> things like a set of Varox for you know just wearing it for the diary or something uh, Guthans pieces to complete full sets for each account and then things like the pages I've actually already maximized all my books that I could with all these pages so these are probably all drop droppable I don't really think these books are ever even good or used anymore so I don't even care to really keep them but they're there A stack of Kraken tentacles will most likely be if I ever can upgrade that into the maxed trident with 20,000 or whatever charges instead of 2.5k charges. But I pretty much don't ever do Hydra or Kraken again, so that'll probably never happen. But it's just kind of one of those things, and uh, yeah, they're just dupe tentacles here. Also, actually, you need one of these for each tent whip, so if I got low on a tent whip and I wanted to bring a backup, I could pull one of these out and just pre make it and just take take the second tent whip with me I uh, don't know why these are in here uh, but yeah then just runite bolts which would be because not every account did demonic so not every account has a stack of these so the onyx bolt tips that I get randomly for each account I want to tip them on these that's why things like that would be in there and then you have some clue items like Addy Halberd I know the Addy Warhammer are both needed for a clue step so at some point whichever account doesn't have that I would put like four of these in here actually there you can see the myth boots as well three of my four accounts have like these accounts it's not the same one that's missing them too it's like a random one is missing the boots a different one's missing the halberd for some type of medium clue step uh, whenever that clue step comes across I will check group storage and then I'll search for adamant uh, halberd and pull it out just things like that right just making use of the group storage is a very convenient tool to kind of group up items uh, catalog tiara access to any altar basically um, but yeah uh, that was yeah that was probably for like just the death altar for like a diary step or uh, the wrath altar so uh, this that's for some type of clue I know that but for what clue I don't know uh, and then yeah just other random junk so yeah that's kind of the overview on all of my accounts and like what they all have right um, whenever some of the banks uh, basically just a ton of good gear this accounts finally getting stacked I have like a, a jaw and a serp on each account and I actually have tassies on each account so I have four of each of these items. So every single account has their own Tassies, uh, Serp Helm, and Face Guard. So it's pretty nice. Uh, and then other things like the Blowpipe. Only one account can have that at a time because I only have one. I only have one Peg Boots because I only have one Ranger Boots. Uh, but I actually probably have like four more Crystals. I, th I think they were actually in here. Uh, maybe there I pulled them out finally on one of the accounts just to open up storage space because you know sitting on 133 out of 157 this does eventually fill up over time you know, with all these clue items and stuff but yeah uh, yeah that's that's kind of gonna wrap it up for this video I just wanted to fully go over like a full kind of bank video now if you looked at all the other banks and the other accounts I can actually just show you in case you're super curious but you're gonna see basically the same thing here 
uh, literally like an identical setup in the bank huge cash stack runes there's the farming kit again just same stuff like a dragon warhammer will be here all types of boots and jewelry different styles of of melee gear right same junk right um yeah just like some random stuff and then again with the scaling tabs like tens of thousands of coal gold ore uh, bars i know i just made all the rune ore that i had into bars so there you go you have your 2000 bars here uh, just toss those like right there eventually i'll make those into dark tips because this was the account that i started that blast furnace on again you know just huge stacks of like cooked wands i have infinite amounts for slayer um, other various junk potion stacks plenty to just have right it's got a handful of prayer when I need it. It's just sitting on like enough stores and brews for any type of PVM I would need. But you know, this is one of those three alts that's not going to have as chunky of stacks. Now, this is the one account that doesn't run the kingdom with money, so I'm doing it on three out of four. So, but you would see nice chunkier stacks of herbs and unfinished pots on the other accounts. You can actually show that but yeah like i need to just smash together these these were probably from zami when i did zami god wars need to get those together seeds huge seed stacks uh, all the important herbs up the top uh, again you have your like totem see there's the 66 dark totem so i haven't done scutizo yet on here when i get around to it probably after hydra or something i'll do the same thing where i start stacking like clues so my goal is to do one master on each account because um, I actually need to do one mimic kill. So I need to keep doing masters till I get a mimic. So the goal is to like do all these totems, do every hard clue from it, and then from that do uh, all the elites as well, stack the caskets. Um, I'm currently stuck on an elite step. There's an elite step where you have to have a bob shirt, so it's like any bob shirt. And I have it on two accounts on an elite. I don't want to drop it because I just need the bob shirt, and I think it comes from an easy clue. So that's why I'm obtaining clues through mining and woodcutting. And these accounts will do that easy clue in the hopes to just finally get that bob shirt. And once I get that one bob shirt, then I can just group storage it after each time I use it, and every account has access to it. But yeah, you're going to see like the similar bank style uh, per account and then just huge stacks. Like This account just has 43,000 Zora scales for no reason. Um, I'm not using them. I don't have a blowpipe. My SERP's probably full already. It's just like it's there because maybe I was using it for the swamp trident, but that barely uses any. Uh, again, just like, but do I need them? I have 100,000 in the storage. Like it doesn't really matter. So. If I were to somehow run out of scales, I would just go to the bank on each account and search for Zora scales and just see there's 40k spare here and just throw them in. It takes two seconds, but I'd rather just hang on to them in case any account does any individual PVMing on its own. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I'm going with with the uh, each, each bank. I just want to like have its own stacks of stuff. I'm actually gonna go run these clues. Uh, this master step, yeah, see I need a death tiara to do that. And I don't think I have it. So yeah, I'm uh, gonna have to go grind some like, what, what are they called, dark beasts or whatever. But I'm gonna hang on to that for now. I'll, I'll be doing those three clues shortly here. And yeah, just to show you again, this is one of the other accounts. So three of the accounts do kingdom. So you have these juicy stacks of like Ranner and all the way out through Lantadime just coming in from kingdom that I need to clean. And then that'll be huge stacks of the clean and then that will go into potions. I mean, this is just ridiculous right here. 4,000 some brews just ready to be made for no reason sitting on this account. I don't even have the level to make them yet. Like, I'm one level off in this account. But, like, see, I could just throw those 4,000 onto my main, and that's 800,000 herbal or XP for him in an hour or two. Like, 
Again, just sitting on 2,000 quorum the need made, 4,000 irits, so that's another 400k XP, 2,000 prayer, uh, 1.6k super defense, 1,000 lanth dime, 2,000 dwarf wheat, and there's the huge stack, 1,400 wines ready to just be made. I have 5.5k limps. Each account has thousands of limps, so I've been making sure to farm those so that I'm not short on those. Always pick white berry and cactus too, so those are never in short supply. It's just typically red spider's eggs because they take a long time to get. Mortmire fungus again takes a long time to get. Maybe in the future Jagex will come up with something, but uh, then you just have this huge stack of tar where I can, you know, pestle mortar and then do like terramin with that which is just free afk bank standing uh, herb blur xp already made 40,000 of it here you can see but yeah um and then this is what what you get when you do kingdom right so i'll for herb runs i'm obviously farming like toad flax and stuff but then kingdom will pull in like tons of irits so i don't farm as much irits necessarily that's more obtained through like kingdom like you get tons of these these stacks from Hairlander all the way up to Lanta and Dwarf will basically get filled with the giant kingdom loot. Uh, so yeah, running kingdom, have plenty of cash. I could just do it on the fourth account too, uh, but I just decided to do three from the start and I'm just sticking with it. I don't want to run too low on cash ever. Uh, and three out of four is enough in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, again, you just see that similar like bank style. Just 6,000 gold ore. That's just XP waiting to be made. Had you got your ra rock crambo on there, just ready to be you know, cooked for free XP. 10,000 was in the group storage, and then here you just have your casual like couple thousand potions. Like I probably just made these. That's why some of these stacks are a little bit lower. I say low, still a few thousand. Those need to can into four dose. Just sitting on 1200 torstol. Um, yeah, need to uh, make another thousand super combats. Like, there's so much scaling to be done. Uh, but because it's not like necessary at the time, it's like I'm just doing other things at the moment. Uh, but yeah, just chilling on tons of supplies, seeds again, just tons of like. Yeah, so many lanthanime seeds like to see 66 of those just makes makes it like you know froth a little bit it's just like so much herb lore xp because that's a really high tier seed and having you know 4,000 cacti you know, those will be farmed over time which adds to these stacks of like grimy and clean which then adds to these stacks of unfinished and <laughs> this all just needs mashed together for mills of herb lore xp Actually, so you're seeing all the zeros here. It looks like I just did a ton of like saplings into you know, the pots. So chilling on like nice chunk of palm, yew, uh, the redwoods, dragon fruit, 38 dragon fruit, 46 magic saplings. So yeah, nice stacks of those. Probably because I ran out of one for a contract. So I just said, you know what? I'm gonna go switch to lunars and then just start humidifying full inventory's worth until they're all done. Yeah, this account already did this Katiza, so if I look up clues, uh, actually, it's they're called caskets. There's your stack, so again, t about 10 elites, 40 hards from those Katiza totems. It's 40 out of like 60 or 70 totems because I lose like one out of three because I'll eventually get like a wilderness rogues castle step or black chin chompa area step. I will do most of the steps in the wildy if I can still seed pot out, but I will not go to those hot spots like level 55 wild where you can't telly out. I will not do that and I will not do black chin chompa spot because that's above 30. So if I did get telly blocked, I'm forced to tank test or lose my last life on the group hardcore. So I'm not willing to do that. Uh, I will drop those hard clues, but I can still stack a nice handful of those. And yeah, opening any easies for the Bob shirt. And then just again, 50,000 Zoro scales for literally no good reason. Uh, this account just has, you know, waiting for a rainy day. Oh, look, 7,000. I didn't even know I had these. So I just, at some point, I'll fletch these and refill my blowpipe. Like, I'm not short on supplies by any means. And that's the luxury of playing many alts in the same group. 
is that I can endlessly PVM with like high tier supplies like anglers, you know, high tier potions, and these amethyst darts, and just never run out. So, um, yeah, I need to match those up. There's a ton of alchemicals and onyx tips, and that's why I have them in the storage because these runite bolts. I don't. I never did demonics on this account. I got all my zenites from another account, so I'll need to pull out 300. So that this is kind of showing like why I have things in the group storage, because then I'll need to throw those on like such. So um, then yeah, I just if I ever need you know Zora scales, just find an account that has 50,000, <laughs> pull them out. Um, should probably drop some of these. Like these are just junk. Those I might get from CG, but I know steels are junk. Uh, yeah. Um, as time progresses, I slowly, you know, clean out some of the things in the bank. These picked one drop up from worms, but will I ever use them? Doubt it. Uh, they'll probably just sit there forever. I'll probably never do worms again, actually. So let's just get rid of them. Uh, but yeah, and then you know, this account just chilling on like insane like max melee gears so, like prims got the b-ring there's a hammer B bgs yeah the tent whip with the arc light those are pretty much my go-to every account has its own tassie face guard surf helm so that's nice one of the things i have to share a lot is like the trident so uh trident to swamp I only have two of those so i need to share the two that i have but yeah just kind of chilling and again just random things like, like this account doesn't have a skirt on it but there's one in the group storage so you know but who, who knows you know wherever wherever things take us uh, this is kind of where we're just sitting at with the uh, the group the group hardcore so you know, four accounts on the group uh, working on yeah doing a lot of stuff I actually got that Grillicker's hat or farmer's straw hat here um, for it, an elite clue step and then guess what I got I got the Bob shirt so I'm sitting on a couple of Bob shirt steps from an elite um, and I refuse to drop it because I'm confident that I can just get one from any easy clue and then like I'm sitting on this clue right here so I'll go do these I'll go do this hard as well and then return to wood cutting or whatever but yeah that's gonna wrap up the video I hope that that kinda shows where each account is sitting at skill wise what my plans were how I got to every skill why I have every skill like everything kinda has like a purpose like certain skills like this was my herbalist and my crafter uh, then over here I had this was the first account that got high fletching to make the amethyst darts. That's why I have this stack of dart tips here. This was the only account that could do this. So, uh, for the time being, I put like 20,000 dart tips to him, gave to him. And I can't even craft them, so you know this was transferred through the group storage. Um, things like that. And, uh, yeah. Um, other accounts have higher smithing. Um, that account I just showed has you know 99 cooking that was one of my cookers so as different accounts do various different skilling things and whatnot uh, they just develop certain skill sets and I'm just slowly reaching to the point where every accounts universally able to do anything but yeah the, my main rating account being you know, the big boy with the, the full bandos on him recently put the suffering on him and he's got like all the zenites I only have one of every zenite so all four of them being on this account four raids and such and the only one with dragon slayer 2 for the backpack got my only armadillo set on here for the hydra uh, but yeah so that's gonna kind of conclude it i do appreciate anyone if you made it this far leave a comment below like how you think things are going the the four accounts I showed most of the banks I showed all the stats I showed just kind of what I do on the side AFKing while I'm doing Hydra I'll go knock out that CA here in a minute I'll go do some of these clues on the side I know I have a couple easies hope I get that Bob shirt can return to the elite clues um, but yeah that's gonna wrap it up um, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I also plan on streaming down or below in the 
description are my Twitch and Kick links, so please drop those a follow if you would ever like to catch me live at some point. Yeah, that's going to wrap it. Thanks everyone for tuning in, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.